I fall off a ladder? What precautions should I take in case I have a broken bone? And how do I know if I have a broken bone? You should exercise extreme caution and preferably have someone at the bottom to help steady the ladder at all times. If you think you have injured your neck or back and cannot move your arms or legs, you should avoid moving and ask someone else to call an ambulance so that a paramedic can assess you. The symptoms of a broken bone are pain, swelling and difficulty moving the affected part. Is an electrical shock always hazardous? Common household electricity has a relatively low voltage and causes pain or a spark when you touch it briefly. This does not require medical treatment. Prolonged contact with an electrical point will cause general body seizure movement and can cause severe burns, muscle damage, fractures and heart rhythm disturbance. If you are electrocuted in this way, you must seek medical attention even if you feel well afterwards. When is bleeding and or bruising considered a problem? Bruises in the mouth that appear for no reason could indicate a bleeding disorder. Bleeding into joints after minor bumps or no trauma is abnormal. Nosebleeds are very common and usually stop with first aid measures. If the nose bleeding cannot be stopped, then it may indicate a clotting problem. If you cough up blood, vomit blood or pass blood in the urine or stool, it is abnormal. How do I know if chest pain is just chest pain or if it's something serious? Chest pain should always be taken seriously. There are three factors to consider. The nature of the pain, associated symptoms and risk factors. Typical cardiac chest pain is a crushing feeling or it feels as if an elephant is sitting on your chest. Associated symptoms are very important. Extreme tiredness or breathlessness, vomiting, sweating, fear and pain that move to the arms or jaw are serious warning signs. As is fainting or feeling like fainting while having a chest pain. 